Okay, so you guys saw me struggle to open this saber lock sent by the veritable, the uh, very wonderful Bill, Bosnian Bill. Um, lots of banjo music and then various revelations involving a uh, <clears throat> rigging technique. And um, I was feeling very proud of myself. And then my wife came home and I was demonstrating the lock to her and re regaling her of my foibles earlier in the day and um, realized that it actually picks open pretty easily, but it's almost like Zen. Like if I think about it, at least with this pick, if I start thinking about what's going on, it stops working. But, there it is open. Make sure I'm still in frame, yeah. Um, can I zoom in more with this? No. Um, and then I was like, well, maybe it was just one side. So I did the other side, and I went zen again, and just kind of stroked the, the little pick in and out, just basically like a raking motion, but with a, with a uh, single pin pick or the, with a hook, and um, just gently tapping the, the pins, and um, and it will just open. Um, and of course on the couch it was opening like every 10 seconds, so I'm over here, there it is opens much more quickly and then it's like okay well maybe wrong direction you know maybe that was you know but I have a feeling that what it is is that it needs sort of what Bill calls a bitch pick which is sort of this you know like in and out in and out kind of just go crazy with it just like you know rock and roll and just kind of it's basically raking, but, you know, a lot more, well, aero aerobic, I would say. It's an aerobic raking. Um, and, um, well, it works. Look at that. Bitch picked. There you go. Bitch picked, Bill. That's my first bitch pick, by the way. But my technique, which is more of a, let's say a stroking motion, if you will, a... Um, uh, a caress of the pins with the pick. My wife is cracking up in the family room. Um, it just, really it just, it. that's okay. It just works and it's so much less violent, you know? And it seems like maybe the lock will be more likely to want to come back the next time, you know? <laughs> like, you don't want to have a, a one night stand with your with your lock, especially if it's a saber, you know, that could be kind of bad. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe, you know, the bitch pick might be good for like the, the quick sets of the world or, you know, some of the other, you know, the Chinese locks where, you know, we love you long time and that's about it, right? You don't really want to ever see them again, but, um, me love you long time. But, uh, I'm thinking that with, many locks, you may want to try the sort of the caress um, because you might want a second date, you know, you never know. So, um, you know, may not be as fun the first time, but it seems like the lock just seems to like it better. So anyway, just a thought and just to show that I'm not a completely incompetent boob, um, that I can actually open this lock, which I'm sure it's very, well, I know it's very simple now. There are no security pins. It does have kind of a interesting bidding, but nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. But, um, so I don't know what to call it. What should I call it instead of a bitch pick? Um, I don't know. It's a, um, a what? Brute force? No, no, no. I want something that in implies gentle. Oh. Um, 
Well, well, we'll come up with a name for it. Maybe you guys can make a suggestion. So anyway, there's that saber lock, single pin picked about, I don't know how many times that was, with this beautiful, um, what the hell is this, HPC, HPC, yeah, HPC, short hook. Um, and uh, I feel much better now. So, anyhow, um, you know, go to some anger management and, um, you know, dial the bitch picking back and, um, you know, you can have a long and wonderful relationship with your Euro cylinder. So, anyhow, this is Alex. Uh, have fun, keep it legal, and I'll talk to you next time.